chaos, I guess, since he didn't DI right, he just spammed air dodge, but there really was not much else he could do. Yeah, jumping actually is a great option in this game, I think more than uh, any other Smash game. Is having your second jump in a mid combo is probably like one of your best like uh, get out of combo options. Uh, because, you know, it, it kind of resets the field, not exactly to neutral, but it gives you a little more breathing space and most players aren't reading a jump. They're reading an air dodge, or they're reading a delayed air dodge. Um, but here we are, we got Tokyo versus Kataro, another break classic. This is winner semis still, so the winner of this will fight against Kataro, uh, not Kataro, false in grand, uh, winner's finals. And right now I think Tokyo, um, Definitely has played, uh, has definitely leveled up since he's been gone. I haven't seen him in a couple weeks either, both to Chaos and Tokyo. I think they were here a couple weeks ago once, but not in um, full form. And um, I'm surprised that like Katara was sticking with Diddy Kong. Uh, he's been playing Diddy Kong for so long. I guess you know it's hard to to abandon Diddy Kong, even though Diddy is Diddy is still great. He's not as great as he used to be, but he's still good. Very nice um, by Tokyo, using Banana and Kitaro not exactly doing the full recovery. I think it was a gimp by the uh, by the PK Thunder. We're gonna see fair into another fair. No, no platform to do a third fair, but still two fairs is enough to rack up that damage. Oh, can it get the back air and out soon enough? Oh, that was very risky by uh, Katar to be going out like that, but very good timing on the air dodge, dodging the PK Thunder Cannon. And Katar going for an up B kill, but he's not using the right up B, I think. I don't know why he would try doing that. Um, I think he should switch characters. I, I feel like his Diddy has, you know, it it it's tired out now. I think he can do better with other characters, so we'll, we'll see. Yeah, like I said, Diddy's still great. It's just, you know, it's it, you can't really use Diddy Kong as uh, it's just not as simple-minded. Is what I'm looking for. And Tokyo not exactly recovering. Um, Kataro finally getting a stock off, but at 97%, that's a big gap, very big gap, especially against a character like. Yes, he can kill with his up air at this point now, I think. So Katara definitely has to get in those grabs. Uh, good forward air. And he can't really rely on his banana play so much. Tokyo is, you know, privy to that. And is very aware of the banana. Oh, good trying to read the uh, air dodge, but still doesn't get the up air. And he gets an up B kill. Very nice reading that. Get up. That was very nice by Kataro. Uh, bringing up, you know, coming back. That was a big comeback by Kataro since he was down by a whole stock, basically. Like, Ness could have, if he got the right hit, would have killed Kataro at any moment. Um, I mean, yeah, so some players, Diddy is a fun character. I, I don't deny that it's not like, you know, completely brain dead if that's the play style that you like. It's not a brain dead play style, it's just a very good play style. Um, like, I I'm sure every character in the game has a player that loves playing them. So. But here we are in game two, Tokyo looking to redeem himself after being, you know, after losing against that comeback. But Kataro is looking a bit more uh, assertive in this match right now. And Tokyo messing up on grabbing those bananas, which is ve very uh, important right now. Because last game he was using those bananas very effectively against Kataro himself. And right now he's got to bring step up that game again. The banana play just needs to be there. And up throw to up, throw to up B. Trying to read his air dodge. Very nice by Kataro. Unfortunately does not connect. I do like the effort though. And Kataro right now seems to be 
seems to have Tokyo's number more. And I really like uh, that's one of Kataro's main tricks is using the banana as a wall and just forward smashing through it. it it's kind of like a, uh, a wall that you don't want to approach. All the reverse forward smash is not going to kill. Maybe if it was a regular forward smash, it would have killed. Not going to kill even at the edge. Oh, that was so close getting that up smash from the down tilt. It would have been a very nice conversion. Right, what a great match. Uh, Phil. Phil. What a great match to commentate. Come back and... Uh, uh, we have Kitaro versus, uh, Kitaro versus um, Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. yeah. What did game one look like? Kitaro, Tokyo was thin? way ahead. He was up by like 97% when he lost his first stock. Wow. And then Kitaro just brought it back, did an up B. To kill? To kill. Okay. So this is game two, Kitaro's up 1-0? Yes. All right. Move your mic. Right here? Kitaro up, yeah. down. Closer. And closer. That's uh, all we want. Uh -huh. All right, um, yeah, Kataro is a player that is really good at bringing it back. Like, wow. That's yeah, that, that was up a smash. great up smash. Even when you watch Kataro SD, like, real early, maybe even at 0%, he uh -huh. always manages to bring it back yeah. a lot. Even like, if he doesn't win the match, he brings it back a lot. He's great at racking up that damage. He really yeah. is. Um, and also, like, in the first match, it's because he kind of got gimped by the PK Thunder trying to recover. Right. And good recovery on that up air. And yeah, in this match, Tokyo hasn't been uh, as good with his banana play as he was in the first game. Right. Which is actually very important against uh, Diddy Kong. You know, trying to use his own bananas against him. Yeah, um, there's a tech most people know of it, not know how to do it, uh, glide tossing, right? Yeah. And so many people will be like, why would I learn the tech? I don't play a character with projectiles. But when you come across Diddy Kong and... Oh, you wow, want that. Be it. Yeah, when you come across Diddy Kong and he throws your banana at you. Oh my god, that was so good. That turnaround back air was so yeah. quick. He short hopped the uh, forward air and just back aired him in the face. Like, that was so quick he did it. And it was like a short hop. He was off of a short hop. It was hop smart down. to short hop because he was uh, not yeah. vulnerable to those attacks, the forward air coming down. But it was also very risky because he was just approaching right. against that forward smash. Right. Very risky, but very worth it. So now it's 1 1. We're going into game three. Probably going to go back to Smashville. I have that feeling. Or Kitaro's yeah. going to counter pick. Uh, not yet. I yeah, was no, Smashville is where we're going. It's where we need to stay. Okay. So. Well, what do we need this for? All right. Well, we're jumping into game three, actually. This is deep in winner's bracket. Is it quarters? This is winner's semis. Oh, semis. So right. winner of this is going to fight false in winner's finals. Of course. That is cool. Okay. So, um. Yeah, uh. Who do you think this matchup is in favor of? Uh, I, I a lot of people th question this, whether who's which matchup uh, is in favor. It's, it's definitely close. But I think that see, uh, I think that Diddy Kong wins it. That's just an opinion though. Off stage, I definitely think it's more in Diddy yeah, Kong's yeah. favor. Yeah. Because Diddy Kong has much more mobility. But I do think like above the stage, I think it's in Ness's favor. Yeah. Definitely in Ness's favor. Right. On stage, it's more of a toss-up. Oh my god, that almost broke his shield. Wow. Guitar's really uh, running this there in this uh, game right now. Yeah, you're right. Glide tossing isn't difficult. It's not a difficult tech to learn. Oh, it's definitely not hard. It, the, hard the hardest part about it is incorporating it into your gameplay. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I love glide tossing in Brawl because I played Zero Suit in Brawl, so right. I knew about that. In this game, it's much different. In Brawl, normally you would cancel a roll, yeah. too. And it's this the opposite game, here. Yeah, this you game is very jump. different. Same thing about the same thing with glide tossing is basically the same as a jump cancel up smash. Yeah. And you see a lot of Diddy Kongs use that. So instead of just dashing and up smashing, if you dash, cancel your jump with an up smash, you slide much farther. And it's a good move to like quickly slide in and catch someone with an up smash because it does come out fast. The frame data on that up smash isn't the uh, too bad. Acto should take it. Yep. That's the worst part about Ness <laughs> when you're so ahead <laughs> and he just catches you at the edge and yeah. like, well, there you go. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like net. See, that's what I mean. Like off stage, I feel like it's in Diddy Kong's favor if Ness is the one that's off stage. Right. But if it's the right. other way around, yes, like right. it's always right. who's ever on stage yeah, has the, thing the is, advantage. Right. Because the thing is, is both character has a both characters have a gimmick recovery. Probably right. more so Diddy Kong, but uh, even Ness. I mean, his his recovery is also telegraphed a lot of times. 
But I definitely do think, like, in the air, if both of them are in the air, yeah. Def Ness has the upper hand. Yeah, I definitely, definitely yeah, think that. Yeah, right. Nair, uh, his Nair comes out way faster than Diddy Kong's uh, up air. And, um, on the ground, it's a toss-up. I think it depends right. on the player right at that point. I think that's a 50-50. They're both going to... Oh, no! Oh, oh that sucks! Oh, no. Kitara and Tokyo takes it against Kitaro for that's, that. That's very Not angling the up feed, not holding it long enough. Right. So we are going to see False versus Tokyo in winner's final. Now if